Hey everybody, happy Monday. Um, I just want to say congratulations to the, the one of the three from Tennessee that was um, expelled the other day. Justin Jones got reinstated. Congratulations. Um, you know, I, I can't do the fist that high because <laughs> you can't see it, but um, yeah, you know, fight for your right, fight, fight for what you believe in. They got expelled, two out of the three, and the lady, like, narrowly missed getting expelled. So they've been making a thing out of that, but, um, uh, there was some kind of gun control protest. They got expelled from the Tennessee legisl legislature, but he got reinstated today, and, um, I think they're waiting on the other guy. So, um, I gotta tell my dad about that, even though I know he knows, I think, by now, but, um, I also want to say another good news for me is, uh, I finally got everything figured out and straightened out with, um, EDD slash short-term disability people. So, I called them this morning, 8 a.m. sharp, and they, um... After waiting, I forgot, maybe 10, 15 minutes, I had to, I pressed for them to call me back. Because I was just like, you know what, I didn't know because around that time is when I leave. So I didn't know if they were going to show up or what. So, um, uh, and shockingly, even though I heard that they don't call you back, <laughs> which would definitely not surprise me. They called back from a restricted number, and I, you know, I'm dug in the dodge on some people, so I didn't know who it was. But I was like, "Hello," because <laughs> no one's just gonna call me at 8 a.m. So, um, it was them, and then it turned out that you know there was a confusion with the system was confused because um it was thinking that a previous claim was connected with this claim. So yeah, everything got worked out. Everything got a uh, she. She paid, approved it right there, and then, so, calling them was smart. I had a few people suggest that to me. Um, she approved it right there, so now it's just a no, uh, matter of when it's going to come onto the card. Because I still have my car from last year. So, hopefully, that's in the next day or two since I already have the card. And so, I'm so happy because I want to go to the farmer's market on Saturday. No, Saturday or Sunday. Sunday, because, um, that brings me to my next thing. Today, at lunch, I tried, um, it was a Mediterranean lunch they had, so, um, it was pretty good. It was, I have never had hummus that I can think of. I would have to ask Lorna, because we, you know, we went to a couple farmer's market, t uh, trips, and, she, I know, would taste that kind of thing or eat that kind of thing. Um, the funny thing is, my dad, when he did his Walmart order, they accidentally put, the Instacart dude accidentally put someone's hummus in our order. So, and we never ate it. I think it's probably still in there, but it's probably bad by now. Um, so, I've never officially had hummus like that, but... I've been to a couple of farmers markets where they had something similar, so it could have been hummus, I don't know, or something really close to it. Um, but it, the one today, okay, it was rice, some kind of rice that was really good, um, some kind of beef with like stuff in it, like, uh, I think it was like, um. I don't know if it was vegetables or what. It has something in, like, seasoned beef, but it was, like, seasoned with herbs and stuff, I think. And pita bread and hummus. And I, what I did was I took the pita bread and put some of the hummus and then put some of the meat and kind of ate it like a taco. <laughs> because I didn't want to eat the hummus on its own because I don't know if it's the texture or what. It's it's like, oh, I don't know. I don't want to eat it. But um, it ended up being, uh, it was pretty good. It, to me, the hummus wasn't flavorful, like, the way I would like it. So I'm interested to try a different type. Like, maybe tomato kind or 
garlic or a uh, cheese. The one I tried at the farmer's market was something kind of like a cheesy garlic one or something that is somewhere, like I said, to hummus. Um, so yeah, but, um, it was interesting. I'll just say that, you know, people like just hype it up so much though, that I'm like, um, <laughs> is this what I've been hearing about all these years? But, um, yeah, so, um, this, okay, so as of right now, I'm projected to go back to work next week, the week of the 17th, so I don't know, because this Thursday, I talked to the doctor there, and I talked to, uh, I talked to my, uh, worker, or therapist, whatever, they, I, I forget what they're called, um, everyone has, like, a worker there, um, and they all kind of come to a meeting in the minds on each person, and, like, they say if, you know, what they feel is at, if they accomplish what their goals are and everything with this, with the program and everything, and then, um, that doctor either says, oh, you're, you're good to go, or you're, you know, or, you know, in another week or two, or what, you know, whatever they decide, and it's kind of like, they talk to us about it, and they see where we're at, and then, um, I talked to him on Thursday, the doctor, and they said he's a really nice doctor, and, um, he really, like, uh, just tells the doctor straight, supposedly tells your doctor straight what it is, and what he suggests, and what he feels is the best, is the best course of action, like, should we just keep things how they are, should we add something to the regimen, the medication regimen, or, like, you know, um just kind of how he feels, and so they said, some of the people were telling me, just be 100 with him, tell him what it is, because he's, like, the best, and everything, so I haven't seen him, like, I've seen a picture of him in the thing, in the place, but i never seen him, and I think he was on vacation last week, so that's why I'm seeing him on Thursday, this Thursday, so for the first time, so we'll see you guys, um, but, yeah, it's, um, definitely been an experience and an adventure for me, um, because I learned, I'm learning a lot about myself, and there's things that, um, I never really kind of said out loud, just because of shame, or fear, or fear of judgment, or, you know, just things that I, um, kind of just have never talked about, you know, like, um, it's something really crazy, it's just, you know, things, um, that you go through in life and stuff, and I've never really articulated it a lot out loud, so when you're in an environment where you're, everyone's kind of just, I call it unloading, like, unloading things off of their chest and that they've gone through, it's like, you're kind of like, oh my god, it's like therapeutic in a way, and like, it's even therapeutic hearing other people's stuff, because, um, it makes you realize, oh, I can talk, and I can do this, but it was funny today, because the worker was like, you know what, like, she was just like, you know what, Jocelyn, I've seen you talking to the people outside, like, you're all engaging, and laughing, and you're all comfortable, and I'm like, you know, that's just, I am like that, but, <laughs> I'm like that, but it's just, and I told her, I was like, yeah, but do you know what they all have in common, they're all, like, the ones that talk a lot, too, <laughs> I'm like, those times we gravitate to each other because the ones that are more quiet, like, I kind of feel like, oh, I don't know what they're thinking, or, you know, my mind goes to, like, what are they thinking about my loud ass? I mean, <laughs> so, I say, yeah, you know, but it was funny, but, so we'll see how everything goes, um, after I see the doctor on Thursday, but anyway, you guys, uh, I gotta do laundry today. I'm waiting for maybe to do it tonight. Later. But, um. Yeah, I gotta do that at some point. And, um. But, yeah, I just wanted to say, um. You know what? Shout out to the Tennessee Three. Because, yeah, you know. It, it, it's more than words. You gotta really stand up and fight for what you believe. So, I really admire the three of them. 
But anyway, you guys, I will talk to you guys later. Have a good Monday. All right, bye.